Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to talk about polygons in the coordinate plane. Specifically, how to plot them, how to draw them in the coordinate plane, and then also how to find things like perimeter and area once they're in a coordinate plane. Let's get started. Okay, before we get started with example one, you're probably going to want some graph paper or grid paper. If all you have is line paper, it can work. You just have to make sure you're really, really organized and have nice straight lines. But if you have uh, graph paper like this, uh, it's going to make it a lot easier. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is to make your uh, coordinate plane. All we're using right now is the first quadrant. You can see I've got all the way up from zero up to 15 on my x-axis and from 0 up to 15 on my y. Uh, but if you look, uh, 9 is the greatest value in my y and 8 is the greatest in my x. So you could even just stop at 10 if you want. Uh, so go ahead, first thing, draw your axes. And remember, we only need the first quadrant. Everything is positive. So once you've got that, let's read the example. So the vertices of a quadrilateral are a is at 2, 4, B is at 3, 9, C is at 7, 8, and D is at 8, 1. Draw the quadrilateral in this coordinate plane. So the first thing, hopefully you remember that the most important is the X value, the X coordinate comes first, then the Y. So when we're looking at these, this 2 is my X coordinate, and that 4 is my Y coordinate. So when I'm doing this, I'm going to be going over 2, and then up four. Okay, so A, I'm gonna plot that. Again, I said over two, right? That's the X, up four. That point is gonna go right there. And then whenever you plot points in a coordinate plane, always label them. So we're just gonna call that A, and that's at two, four. Next, B is at three, nine. Again, three is the X coordinate. So on my X axis, I'm going over three, then all the way up to nine. And that is where that point is going. Again, label it. B is at 3, 9. C is at 7. Go over 7, up 8, right there. Label that. And then finally, D, over 8 and up 1. Over 8 and up 1. Okay. Uh, and then label that. Really, it, it's pretty simple. You just got to make sure that you always remember the X coordinate comes first, then the Y. Um, and if you want to think about it, X comes first in the alphabet, then Y, maybe that could help you out uh, to remember it. So we're almost done. Uh, we've plotted our vertices. Now I need to draw the quadrilateral. And this is pretty simple. All you're doing is connecting the dots, but you have to do it in order. I'm not going A to C and then C to B. I'm going A to B, right? So I draw that, then B to C then C to D, and then finally D back to A. And there is my quadrilateral, four sides, it's closed figure, and we're done. Here's some to try on your own. Okay, here we go with example two. Uh, so same thing, first thing you're gonna wanna do is create your coordinate plane. Again, we're only using the first quadrant, uh, and you don't have to go all the way up to 15. If you look at the numbers, uh, I think you go to 10 for each, the X and Y axis, that would be plenty. Um, so let's see. The vertices of a rectangle are F is at 1, 6, G is at 7, 6, H is at 7, 2, and J is at 1, 2. Draw the rectangle in the coordinate plane and then find its perimeter. So first thing, let's draw it. So we're going to plot our points. Again, first one, F is at 1, 6 over one, up six, it's gonna be right there. Label it, just like always. Next, G's at seven, six. Go seven over on my x-axis, up six. It's gonna be right there, label that. G is at seven, six, then H, seven, two, over seven, up two, right there, label. And finally, J is at one, two, over one, up two, right there, label it. Now we've got our points, they're all plotted. 
remember after that we have to draw it. Uh, so you're just connecting the dots F to G, G to H, H to J, and J to F, and it's going to make a rectangle. Okay, so we're halfway done. We have our, uh, our rectangle drawn, everything plotted, but now we've got to find our perimeter. Uh, and if you remember, perimeter is just the distance around the figure. Okay, imagine if you were walking all the way around it, how far would you walk? That's the perimeter. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it. One formula that we're going to use is you have two lengths, right, for a rectangle. You've got two lengths. This and this are, are congruent. They're identical. And you have two widths. This width and this width are also congruent. So let's find out what those lengths and widths are. Well, if, we'll start with the length here. If you see, uh, both for J and F, they both have an X coordinate of 1. Okay, they're both over 1. But the Y coordinate is different. This one is only up 2, this one's up 6. So if you want to know the length, we just find the difference of those Y coordinates. So 6 minus 2 is 4. That's going to be my length. Okay, I'm going to substitute that in for L. Now, how about the width? Uh, well, we can look here from J to H. Uh, Notice here that the x coordinates are not the same, but the y coordinates are. They are both up 2. Um, so I'm not going to be subtracting the y coordinates like I did for my length. Instead, I'm subtracting my uh, x coordinates. I'm finding the difference of 7 and 1, uh, which means this width is 6. And also, if it's something this simple, you could also just count the squares, right? Uh, each one of these is just one, so you could even count, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, which is what we just said. So I'm going to substitute those in. Uh, L is going to be four, and my width is six. Make sure you use parentheses, or else it's going to look like 24. But we want two times four plus two times six. There's two of each of those. Simplify, you get eight plus 12, which finally gives you 20. And there's no uh, centimeters or meters. These are just units. Uh, and it's not unit squared because it's perimeter. It's just a distance. Uh, so 20 units is your answer. And here's one more to try on your own. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe.